Yeah, it really is. World number one, she's on form this year, shot incredibly well, so the story here really is, can she make it all the way through and meet Sarah in that final? Are the athletes coming out here for their presentation to the crowd of 3,000? So breakthrough star of the season, Ella Gibson from Great Britain is 22 years old and the world number one. She won three stages of the Hyundai Archery World Cup, missing out, uh, going to Guangzhou in Korea to save money. Going up against the only Mexican who's qualified for the finals in Daphne Quintero. There is Gibson. Bit of pressure on her perhaps. Tough for Ella perhaps going up against the, the only host nation qualified athlete, Nikki. Yeah, it may well be. And did you hear the roar of the crowd? It's going to be quite an atmosphere there. Here we go. Quarterfinal one of the Hyundai Archery World Cup finals on Compound Saturday. Five ends of archery, three arrows per archer per end, with the score building to a maximum of 150. Yes! Ellen just making an adjustment on her sight, start off a little bit low, straight into the X there now, but we see a few nerves so far, as to be expected. Yes. going low didn't she 29 pace 29 and, and uh, well pretty close to uh, going dropping out into the eight yeah it was a really low shot not quite sure why I think she might be pointing to her watch just then to a coach and perhaps around a heart rate or something that was going on uh, while she's shooting those three arrows but uh, looking fairly relaxed Yeah, to talk about nerves, and we were talking about it in the the archery show. That when you've competed at this competition, do you feel those nerves early on, or does it build as you go through the match? I think everyone's different of how they manage it. Really, like I, funny enough, my first arrow would always be fairly calm, and actually it would build and get more nervous through through the match. So, yeah, it's all down to you know their preparation, everything they've gone through this to this point, and then just trying to stick to that plan. We've got Mexico's equivalent of the Vuvu Sailor in the uh, the crowd. As you can see, really tight, packed up against this uh, City Hall building in Tlaxcala, central eastern Mexico, for those of you that like your geography. Gibson and Quintero tied at 29 apiece as we go into the second end. Yes! shot there those flags down the bottom of the range just a little bit fluttering but they do show yes. quite a lot we're not actually that windy in this venue So another 29, just one point down. Opportunity here for Quintero. Ooh, held on to that one for a bit longer. She's put it in to the 10 for a 30. 
So she sneaks one point into the lead. But look, we talk a little bit about Ella Gibson this season, winning uh, the three World Cups that she attended, plus the uh, World Games, uh, has really put a marker in the ground this season. And the rivalry between her and Lopez, uh, quite incredible. It is, does that mean there's a bit of pressure on her here? Oh, definitely. You know, she she came into that first World Cup this season. Uh, I think her goal this year was to get into the top ten. You know, she's overseeded everything she planned this year. Uh, went out, won the first one. She didn't attend the second due to the due to how much it cost to get there. Started saving money. She went out to the World Games. She won that as well. So she's on this massive high, and everyone's now talking about Ella Gibson. Um, that is going to present some pressure, and I think she's going to feel that more. That last hour for me, she looked quite nervous you could see some movements and shaking but I expected to be nervous it's just a huge event that everyone wants to win yeah both of them making their debuts at the World Cup finals as well Quintero on home soil with the home crowd behind her and perhaps with no pressure on her at all because the expectation will be that Gibson will win this quarterfinals but the points now show you that Quintero really has a chance Gibson now shooting to start the third end. Yes. Yes. See so you out in the front of the bow there, that uh, piece of thread hanging from Ella's long rod. That's to give her a bit of wind indication to see if there's any wind yes. hitting her around her. Just seemed to be a tiny little flutter, doesn't there, in there? Yeah, very small. It's a sheltered uh, range. Yes. Slap bang in the centre of town. And we were expecting big scores, and that is just what we've got here. So first perfect 30 for uh, Gibson. I wonder how the nerves are building with Daphne Quintero. Yes, yes, she yes. gets a perfect as well. So that one point lead grabbed in the second end remains after the third. And uh, look at them, they're looking really relaxed, the uh, Mexican pair smiling and laughing. But to be fair, the Brits also looking uh, quite calm and relaxed, but <laughs> how much will that pressure start to build in Quintero? Can we expect it to be perfect through to the end here? Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't think she felt that comfortable with that last shot, actually. She looked a little bit, oh, not sure if it's going to go in. I think she came back to a coach there and we saw her signalling, like just going through that execution of the shot. You saw that backhand sort of going through from release and into the follow through. So she's almost going to be working on that a little bit, thinking about that just to try and get these normal shots executed. See a lovely slow mo here. Now that back hand just goes around the neck. But I didn't think she was that happy with that shot. So let's see. Can she keep oh. this together now? <laughs> you see it in the pictures. Yeah. She didn't look happy with the shot, as you said, and then sees the result. A uh, sense of relief for all to see. Ooh, look. It was in the 10. <laughs> Brilliant <laughs> stuff. So we go into the fourth and penultimate end. Gibson training by a single point to shoot first. Yes! How much pressure is Quintero feeling here? Potentially going for a score. I think the sunlight there was just giving us a little bit of difficulty seeing where that had gone. Yes! I feel like the momentum now is back with Ella. She's looking more and more confident through this match. I think Contero for me is looking a little bit more unsure. Well, you called it. So that's a second 30 in a row for a 118. Huge pressure on this arrow. She needs this one to go in the 10. But look at the movement. Yes. She does get it into the 10. So 
a 28 provisionally. So a two point swing, but this could be all square here if that first arrow is marked up to a 10. Nikki, it's very difficult for us to see, wasn't it? The light uh, shining on the target, the angle of the cameras. That first arrow, though, could potentially get marked up. It could, yeah. It was so difficult with it, like you say, the sun shining on there. So we'll have to wait for the judge to make a decision. They'll go in with their magnifying glass and decide, you know, is it touching the line? But it's an important point. Yeah, it certainly is. Gibson, as you say, looking very relaxed there on the right, just checking uh, the arrows that have come back from the agent. Didn't get to, to see the call from the judge. I think it may well have been marked down. So that 117 is what Quintero is on. It is a two point swing. And Gibson from Great Britain, one of the favourites for the title, has come from behind. Three more hours to go. Quintero to shoot first in the fifth. Right in the center. Yes! That's all Quintero can do, isn't it? Put down big scores to try and keep the pressure on, on Gibson. Yes, yeah, he's got to. In the, we've had the switch now where Quintero's shooting first, so Ella's going to have the last hour of the match here. So yes. the more pressure Quintero can put on her opponent, the better. Finishes with a 30 with a great score, 147, just dropping three points, uh, but a nine to draw level, a 10 for a win and a place in the semi-finals. Yes, Gibson yes, puts yes, it into the 10. There's no doubt there was a bit of a nervy start from Ella Gibson, who's put huge amounts of pressure on herself by winning three of the stages this season, but she came through that and looked very strong in taking Quintero by a single point, 148 to 147. Ella Gibson into the semi-finals.